This is a tutorial on how to charge, operate, and program your new X-Flare. Everything that I'm about to discuss is included in our written instruction manual, which is included with our kit, or can be downloaded from our support page of our website. To charge your X-Flare, simply remove the end cap closest to the mode button by unscrewing the end cap counterclockwise and setting it aside. You'll expose a mini USB charge port with the supplied cable, which is a mini USB to USB cable. Connect the USB side to any of your AC cell phone chargers or to your computer and the mini USB goes into the charge port on this end of your X-Flare. It takes approximately five hours to charge your X-Flare from a full discharge. Uh, once the uh, X-Flare is plugged in and charging, a red LED will illuminate on the opposite end of the mode button. It'll illuminate red. Once it's charged, it'll illuminate green. A word of caution when you're inserting the uh, cable into the connector, just be careful not to push the connector into the LEDs of the front of your X-Flare. Just a word of caution. Okay, once you're done charging your X-Flare, reinsert your end cap, screw it all the way down so you have a watertight seal. And now we'll go on to the operation and programming of your X-Flare. Operation and programming are all done from the mode button. Uh, there's up to four modes the X-Flare will operate in. Um, you simply turn the X-Flare on with a quick push and release of the mode button, and you cycle through the four modes with a quick push and release of the mode button. I will demonstrate. I'll turn the X-Flare on. Uh, the four modes are low flood, high flood, low strobe, and high strobe. I will uh, turn the X-Flare on. It always comes up in low flood, so X-Flare is on, low flood, quick push and release, quick push and release, high flood, quick push and release, low strobe, quick push and release, high strobe, quick push and release, back to low flood. And you can cycle through those modes all you want. To turn off your X-Flare, simply push and hold the mode button for between one and three seconds. So. 1001, 1002, your X flare is off. Again, to turn it on and cycle through the modes, quick push and release, low flood, high flood, low strobe, high strobe, back to low flood, and push and release for one to three seconds to turn your X flare off. Okay, that's the operation, it's as simple as that. To program your X flare, that's also done via this mode button, and the X flare needs to be in low flood light mode, either that mode or that mode to put it in the program mode. You can't be in that mode, low strobe or high strobe. So I'm gonna push it down to low flood. And this is the best mode to be in because it's, it's not overly bright and it's a lot easier to deal with, uh, with uh, the X-Flare when you're not on high flood light mode. So put it in low flood light mode, that's our recommendation. And then you press and hold the mode button until all the LEDs cycle on both ends of your X-Flare. So you press and hold it, all the LEDs will cycle, release the mode button, and the X-Flare is now in program mode. While it's in program mode, it takes about 15 seconds to program the three colors of uh, the three modes of your X-Flare. The first programming step is to choose your floodlight color. And then the second step is to choose your first strobe color. And then the third step is to choose your, your uh, second strobe color. And your strobe colors can be the same. And that's as, that's as simple as the programming is. So I will put the X-Flare in, in program mode by pressing and holding the mode button. It'll cycle the LEDs. Then the first thing you will see is rapidly flashing white LEDs on both ends. That's, the, that's your opportunity to pick your floodlight color. If white is what you want, you don't have to do anything. It'll cycle to the next step. If you want a different color other than white, just press and release quickly the mode button to the color you want and then let go of the mode button at the color you desire, the X-Flare will go to the next step, which is the choice of your first flood light, I'm sorry, your first strobe light color, which will be a rapidly flashing white LED on the opposite end of the mode button. Quickly press and release the mode button to the color of choice. Once you select your color, release the button. It, the X-Flare will cycle to the opposite end of rapidly flashing white LED will appear on the opposite end. Pick your color, release the mode button, and you will, uh, the X-Flare will turn off and you've programmed your X-Flare. So I'm gonna put it in a program mode. I'm gonna press and hold the mode button. Press and hold takes approximately five seconds. I'm still holding. That X-Flare will cycle through the LEDs. I'll release the, the mode button. Choose your floodlight color here. I can choose any color I want. I'm pressing and releasing the mode button. I'm gonna choose 
a red floodlight. As you can see, we have in this particular X-Flare has green LEDs. You can get an X-Flare with blue LEDs in replace of the green LEDs. But let's put this X-Flare in boat navigation mode. So there's green, there's amber, there's red, and there's green and red. That's my choice of floodlight. It's going to flash rapidly down here. That's your first strobe color. I want my first color to be red. I choose red. I let go of the mode button. It's going to cycle to the opposite end. White flashing LED. I want, a, I want white. So I'm not going to do anything. I could cycle it back to white if I want to. So now it's back on white. The X flare is going to turn off. Once it's off, it's programmed. So again, to turn your X flare back on, quick push and release. It's now in low boat navigation floodlight mode. High boat navigation floodlight mode. Red, white, low strobe. Red, red, white, high strobe. Abusive. Okay, now we're back in low floodlight mode. So I'm going to reprogram this X flare and I'm going to program it as a white floodlight and a white strobe light. And um, again, you have preferences to put this in low flood. You can put it in high flood, but we suggest you put it in low flood. Press and hold the mode button. I'm pressing and holding. Approximately five seconds, the LEDs will sequence on both ends. Release the mode button. Rapidly flashing white LEDs. I want white as my floodlight color. I'm not going to do anything. It's already there. I want white as my first strobe color. I'm not going to do anything. And then I want green as my second strobe color. The X-Flare will now turn off. Now it's programmed as a white flood and a white and green strobe. So low white flood, high white flood, low strobe, white and green, high strobe, white and green. Go back to low flood. You can turn your X-Flare off in any of the modes. You don't have to be in low flood to turn it off. You can turn it off in any of the modes. I'm going to turn the X-Flare off. 1001, 1002. And that's how you program your X-Flare. Just practice with it. If you want everything white, put it in program mode, and you can set your X-Flare down. It'll program itself all white. You don't have to intervene at all. Okay, there's another feature that's very handy with the X-Flare, and that's the ability to turn off your strobe mode. This light is very powerful floodlight. In many cases, you'll use the floodlight as a general purpose light more than you'll use the strobe. It depends on what type of applications uh, you're using your X-Flare. Um, so uh, in order to turn off your strobe feature, the X-Flare needs to be in low strobe mode. And this is low strobe mode. Just a reminder, that's high strobe mode. So I'll take it, I'll cycle it back through, low flood, high flood, low strobe. Now it's in low strobe mode. To disable the strobe feature, you have to be in this low strobe mode. Press and hold the mode button until red LEDs flash on both ends. When they flash, release the mode button. Your X flare will turn off and the strobes is disabled. So I'm going to press and hold. Press and hold. Just keep holding it. it. Takes about five seconds. Red LEDs flash. Release the button. The X flare is turned off. And now the X flare is just a floodlight. Low flood, high flood. Low flood, high flood. Okay, to turn your X-Flare off, one to three seconds, X-Flare is off. If you want to re-enable your strobe feature, you have to program it again. And again, programming takes 15 seconds. So that is the charging operation and programming of your X-Flare.